Okay, sorry, it said maximum file and cut off on me, so I guess this will be step one and step two um, of the videos. Still working on getting these rolls rolled out. Sometimes when you get just a, you keep getting the maximum you can out of a little piece of dough. And these, these, <laughs> these are big, they're gonna get really big. <laughs> drawing up. So sometimes I have just a little bit left and I'll make a little tiny roll and there'll be somebody that will want that one. I used to always make some little tiny ones for my daughters when they were little because they wanted wanted some. All right, let's get some more of this dough. I have to give them a full pan of rolls. And I might have to sneak a couple off for my husband and myself for dinner tonight because I sent him all, all the extras away last night and he didn't have any for his breakfast or lunch. Okay. This is one thing I really do enjoy doing is making bread, homemade bread. I just remember it smelling so good when I was a kid. It was my very favorite thing. Okay. If you hear the William Tell Overture, the theme to the Lone Ranger, that's my husband's telephone. Sorry about that. Okay, we're almost to get, about to get there. to get them. How many we have there? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, about to be 28, 24, 28. And you will get some butter mixed in with your dough at this point. That's totally fine. Butter's a good thing. what I'm talking about when I say I'm going to make a mini, little mini roll. Just make a little circle. Well, it's not going to be so many. It's going to be about as big as the rest of them. All right. So I'm going to take the parchment paper that I had over the bowl of dough and set these aside to rise. Now let's work on our cinnamon rolls. So this this is going to get too big to use the dough bowl, bowl. So I'm going to or dough bowl. So I'm going to set it aside. I wish that I had a um, vacuum cleaner here at my feet that would just suck up all the flour and everything that I drop on the floor when I cook. I'm sure that my husband liked that. So, I'm going to start in the center and roll out to the sides. I don't know if you've noticed, but I've only floured this rolling pin once. It's made of aluminum. I've never seen one like it since. And sometimes I use the wooden, a wooden one, but um, this one is really good for working with bread and pastries because it stays cool and it it's non-sticky, things don't stick to it. So I'm going to try to get this as much as a rectangle as I can. And you can see how good that's going to do, rise, because of the way it's drawing up there. That's a good sign. And little bubbles in it is another great sign of the taste. Okay. This is also super, super simple. And by the way, I will be cooking, in case I forget to tell you, I bake these on 350 degrees for 15 minutes. The cinnamon rolls take a little bit longer. Uh, than the regular rolls, because they're denser. They have to rise a little bit longer too. 
So I'm going to cover the surface with melted butter. I like to be generous with it. Like that. Okay. Now, we're still going to use that butter. And then I'm going to put all my cinnamon mixture on. Actually, I'm just going to dump it on there. Spread it out. You could put more on it if you want. But this is going to be just about right. Alright, then we'll start right here and make a tight roll or to start with. And then I, I don't roll it quite so tightly as I go out. I want them to be big. After I get this loaded, I will give you a link where you can get the written recipe. Um, try to figure that out too, but it will be on the Colorful Cottage page on Facebook, most likely. Okay, so get that where it's seamed down. I'm going to take my very sharp knife. Okay. So you can see, I think I'm going to, I think that's probably thick enough. And you take it out and you put it in like that. And I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger. Well, if you make them smaller, you can feed more people. You make them as big as you want, and that's determined by how how wide you cut them. Aren't they pretty? Oh boy, do they taste good! Now, after I cut these out, I'm going to put a little bit more butter on them. too big there. Got to be able to save, save a couple from the husband. What about you? Do you like southern cooking? Are you wanting to learn how to cook southern ways? Not the healthiest, but I do have some recipes that are very healthy uh, that I like to, to do. And if you want me to show you how to do any of those things that I just told you that I was cooking, let me know. I think I'm just going to go ahead and put all these in here and then I'll just pull a couple rolls out. These friends are good friends. They won't mind if I put some out for check. Okay. So there we go. And I'm going to do the same with them. I'm gonna, going to put parchment paper over the top, set them aside in a warm place and let them rise. These will probably take close to an hour and a half to rise or they sometimes they rise quicker than the others and and you have to put them in to bake first. Either way. And there we go. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and take care of this business and let these rise and I'll be back um, after I actually I'll be back after I put them in the oven. Alright. Okay, we're back and got the rolls ready to come out of the oven. Oh wow, it looks so good. So good right there. Amazing. So I cooked them at 350 degrees for uh, 15 minutes. And here's the, the cinnamon rolls turned out great. 
Now I made a glaze and I did not measure, but I would say maybe two cups or a cup and a half of uh, powdered sugar, teaspoon of vanilla, uh, probably about a quarter stick of melted butter and just a little bit of milk. And I just put it on them while they're hot so it soaks it up and they're really good that way. So I'm going to get these all ready to go and uh, to the, our friend's house. And I'm actually going to do this. I don't have time to melt any more butter and this melts as, as you do it. So it'll be just fine. Okay. Thanks for joining me. Watch for my uh, videos on YouTube at The Colorful Cottage or at Facebook.com, The Colorful Cottage, slash The Colorful Cottage. Pam Archer, thank you.